Hello everyone, this is Jin Teacher from Reading Town and today's article is Give Me My Breath Back. So what does that mean? Breath is when we breathe in and out. So when we say give it back to me, well where did it go? Well let's find out. Have you ever been out of breath from running? Out of breath means you can't breathe, you're, uh, you're panting because you've been doing something such as running. This is because your body needs more oxygen. So oxygen is something that we breathe in, invisible, right? It's from our air. Most living beings on earth cannot live without oxygen. Living things including plants, animals, you and I. Uh, it is one of our main sources of energy. So we get our energy from water, from food, but we also get energy from oxygen that we breathe in. It is in the air we breathe and in the water we drink. Humans, animals, and plants, all living things, breathe in oxygen and emit carbon dioxide. So we breathe in, we take in oxygen, and we emit, that means let out or give out. We give off carbon dioxide. So we take in oxygen, and then we let out carbon dioxide, and that's air, okay? Uh, plants use carbon dioxide and sunlight to make energy and oxygen. So when we breathe out the carbon dioxide, the plants use that carbon dioxide with the sunlight to make their food. So we help each other. So that's why plants are very important and we must protect our plants because they help us get what we need, which is oxygen. So let's take good care of our plants. So let's look at some of the pictures. Here is a diver, scuba diver, who is underwater and using an oxygen tank. Here we see people probably planting or putting in some plants in the ground. So very important, we cannot live without oxygen and plants cannot live without our carbon dioxide. So we help each other. So give me back my breath or give my breath back. That means let's take care of our plants so that they can give us more of what we need, which is oxygen. Let's look at our questions for today, our fill in the blank. So looking at this picture, once again, we see scuba divers and they're using an oxygen tank to breathe underwater. Let's fill in the blanks after we have read this article. So let's look at A, your something needs oxygen. Your lungs, what we breathe with, your, what do you think? Your body needs oxygen. Yes, our bodies need oxygen to breathe in and get energy. And like I said, we breathe in through our lungs. Let's look at the second question. Most living beings on earth cannot something without oxygen. Cannot sleep without oxygen. Cannot eat without oxygen. What do you think? Cannot live without oxygen. So you and I cannot live without oxygen. Neither can plants or animals. So we cannot live without oxygen. And last one, oxygen is in the air we something and in the water we drink. So what are we doing? We need a verb here. In the air that we eat, in the air that we smell, in the air that we, that's right, in the air that we breathe. So when we breathe in, right, we take in oxygen from the air. Okay, very good. And our last section, let's circle the correct words. Uh, let's look at the first question. We breathe in oxygen or out oxygen or on oxygen and emit carbon dioxide. Remember, emit means let out. So when we let out, what must we do first? We must breathe, that's right, we must breathe in oxygen. So we breathe in oxygen and let out carbon dioxide. Let's look at B, plants use carbon tetrachloride, carbon dioxide, or carbon monoxide as sunlight to make energy and oxygen. First of all, tetrachloride is not a word that was in our article because it's a long word, we would probably remember it. Uh, monoxide also wasn't in our article. Monoxide means one mono, so it's a one atom compound. Uh, tetrachloride is actually some kind of uh, liquidy substance that we can find in our fire extinguishers. So it's not that. So it's carbon, that's right, dioxide. So we breathe in oxygen, let out carbon dioxide. And the last one, let's take good care of our plants. Let's take good care of our plant or let's taking good care of our plants. We know it's not ing uh, because it's not a present tense because there also is let us. So it's not let us taking, so it's let us, that's right, let us take good care of our plants. One tip that I always tell my students, whenever you see an apostrophe, break it into two words and you'll never get it wrong. So let us take good care of our plants. So one more time, why do we need to take care of our plants? Because 
plants help us get what we need. We give them carbon dioxide and they use it with the sunlight to create food and they release oxygen that you and I need. So let's take good care of our plants so that you and I can breathe healthily. Thank you very much and I'll see you again next time. Goodbye.